I am so pleased to be here today in this very, very special place to celebrate what is truly an extraordinary reintroduction effort, welcoming home the black-footed ferret to Soapstone Prairie. In the 70s, we thought that the black-footed ferret was extinct, a lost species, but a small population was found and through captive breeding and species recovery program, the ferret population is being re reintroduced to its natural environment. Back in 2003, several local open space advocates, I would say principally Kelly Olson and Linda Stanley and, and a bunch of other folks, we put an issue on the ballot that helped to raise the funds that ultimately went to purchase Soapstone Natural Area. Now I know that all of you know that the key to wildlife conservation is habitat, a place like Soapstone Prairie. First, we had to have this large, relatively pristine tract of shortgrass prairie with enough prairie dogs to support a ferret population. Uh, Black-footed ferrets depend almost solely on prairie dogs, and prairie dogs weren't looked upon very favorably when we settled this country. We farmed up a good bit of the country, which disturbed the prairie dog burrows, and they couldn't exist there any longer. And then we poisoned a lot of prairie dogs to stop competition with domestic livestock. And then a foreign disease came into this country, Sylvatic Plague, which neither ferrets or prairie dogs had any immunity to. So where we're going to put ferrets out, we're going to have to address disease management, but also find a way to work with livestock operators to where there are enough prairie dogs there for, for ferrets, but not so many that there's a problem. And the fact that the city and its livestock grazing partners like the Soapstone Grazing Association have come together to help restore what was once the most endangered mammal in North America. I want to thank all of our leadership at the city of Fort Collins, especially the Natural Resource Department, and our federal and state partners. Representative Fisher was responsible for co-sponsoring the bill this year that allows local entities to reintroduce endangered species to locally owned properties. Oh, are you ready? Yes! Oh. Let's go. I think he went down the hole unless he likes the key. He loved the query. You know, sometimes people say things never change. I don't believe that's true, and I think that's what we're seeing here today. This place, Soapstone Ranch, will be different because black-footed ferrets will now call Soapstone Prairie home. <laughs>